Hello everyone, please press subscribe, press follow, press the bell so you don't miss any new clips. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Author by Heavenly Overlord. Translator by NYOI Bo Studio. Audio novels by novelist. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 81. As Long Xiao Yu focused her gaze, her expression instantly changed. According to their information, the Slayer King had sustained severe injuries which were hard to recover from. So how had these injuries merely fully recovered? He he. Interesting. This is the first time any sanctuary disciple has brazenly stood before me. With a grin, his voice pierced the air. Swish. The Slayer King slowly rose. His body exuded a terrifying level 9 aura, it was as if a mighty river had surged forth and had shaken everyone to the core. This was enough to confirm that he had indeed recovered. The difference in ability between an injured Slayer King and a healthy one was insane. They had never expected that they would have to face him on equal ground. Long Xiaoyu breathed heavily, her palms filled with sweat. The Slayer King slowly walked down from the throne, revealing his figure as he left the shadows. Slowly, a beardless, middle-aged man with a white face emerged. As he stood still with a cold gaze, the group shuddered with fear. As he coldly glanced past several people, he noticed the three dead Imperial Guards outside the palace. The Slayer King's eyes flickered with hostility and murderous intentions. For killing my subordinates, I will grant you death. The Slayer King's figure was as quick as lightning. Su Yu could not hope to match his speed, even if he utilized space-time manipulation. Everyone could only decipher a series of blurred outlines, they were hardly able to catch a glimpse of the Slayer King. They were in deep, deep danger. As dread filled their hearts, Su Yu sternly instructed his puppets, hold him back. Swish. Swaying, the two puppets, unafraid of death, attacked the Slayer King from both sides. HMPH. Soul Control Technique. I'll kill you first. The two puppets merely made the Slayer King pause for a split second. A pair of fists emerged from the blurred scene, striking the two puppets. Boom. The two level 8 lower tier puppets were immediately obliterated. Simultaneously, a horrifying wave of residual vital energy surged towards Su Yu. The sheer speed and power of the vital energy was suffocating. Careful, Long Xiao Yu shouted as she flashed towards Su Yu, blocking the strike for him. Ah! Letting out a horrible shriek, Long Xiao Yu's arms were fractured. She was sent flying backward, blood in her mouth. Even the wave of excess vital energy had been enough to gravely injure Long Xiao Yu. Level 9 was terrifying. The Slayer King looked on in cold disdain. Know your place. Swish. Right as Long Xiao Yu spit out a mouth of blood, a red spherical object came flying out from her mouth. Red colored like fresh blood, the object shot towards the Slayer King. The Slayer King assumed it was a chunk of entrails from the injured student and merely smirked. Not bothering to dodge, he grinned coldly and slightly turned his head to avoid the chunk of flesh. Utterly weak. Just as the entrails reached him, however, a ray of holy power shot out from the red ball. The Slayer King's eyes widened. It was not a chunk of entrails at all. Explode. Not giving him any time to react, Long Xiaoyu softly commanded the ball. Boom. A deafening roar reverberated off the walls, it was strong enough to make the floor shake. Boundless holy power exploded outward with immensely strong destructive power. A wind whipped into a frenzy as the floor and walls shook violently. Chia Jingyu let out a slight groan as the wind sent her flying. Su Yu's expression was shocked. He too was sent flying by the strong wind. As a last resort, he twisted and seized Chia Jingyu by her waist. With his other hand, he shot out the entwined dragon silk. He wound it around a stone pillar, anchoring him against the strong wind. As the gusts calmed, clouds of dust filled the room. Su Yu looked around amidst the dust particles. To his pleasant surprise, Su Yu saw that the Slayer King had died on the spot. The head had been blown apart, flesh and blood were indistinguishable from one another. He was, without a doubt, very dead. Swoosh. Turning into a purple shadow, Su Yu dashed forward, just as Long Xiao Yu did the same. 
Both of them descended beside the Slayer King's corpse, in search of his elixirs. Thud. Su Yu kicked over the corpse of the Slayer King. Upon revealing the back, Su Yu extended his hand and reached for the jade bottle. But, Su Yu's hand paused in midair. He paled. Swoosh. Without any hesitation, Su Yu A flew towards Chia Jingshu's side. Grabbing her, they desperately fled outside of the palace. With a moment's hesitation, Long Xiaoyu glanced towards the jade bottle. Her facial expression instantly changed. Swish. Long Xiaoyu's heart thumped crazily as she followed Su Yu outside. Qin Mingyu, Yan Chu, hurry up and escape. Long Xiaoyu's voice had lost the calm and confidence it once had. Now, her voice shook with shock. The two of them turned to the Slayer King. It was only a corpse, a puddle of blood and flesh where its head once was and a jade bottle on its back. It was obvious that he could not be any more dead. So why had the others fled? With a chill in her heart, Chia Jingyu, held tightly in the arms of Su Yu, couldn't contain her confusion. Brother Yu, what happened? Is even his body dangerous? Su Yu's face was extremely pale and his heart thumped madly. It's not that the corpse is dangerous, but... That was not the Slayer King. The real Slayer King is not dead. Chia Jingyu's body quivered, her face instantly paled. They had already used the Fire Soul Pearl, if the real Slayer King was alive, how would they defeat him? Yan Chu and Qin Mingyu paled as they listened. Sing Yu Long, was that not the Slayer King? Yan Chu and Qin Mingyu's lips quivered. Horrified, Long Xiaoyu coldly replied, correct, that was not him. The Slayer King's back should have two divine grade spirit elixirs. However, there was only one spirit elixir on the back of this level 9 Slayer. Moreover, it was a normal saint grade spirit elixir. Should my guess be correct, that should be the level 8 peak imperial bodyguard. But, unbeknownst to us, he must have achieved a breakthrough into level 9. Hence, we mistook him for the Slayer King. But, how did he achieve the breakthrough? When they had entered the core area, they discovered a lot fewer slayers than they expected to find, no one had been sure as to where all the other slayers had gone. Now, the answer was clear. They had all been killed by the Slayer King and his four Imperial bodyguards, and their spirit elixirs had been used to raise the lead bodyguard's cultivation base. The real Slayer King must be nearby. Yan Chu and Qin Mingyu paled. The real Slayer King was still alive. A profound shock was felt throughout the group. Without any prodding, everyone bolted, fueled by terror and adrenaline. Swish. Rays of light and shadows blurred together as they rushed through the gloomy forest. They ran non-stop for three days and three nights like their heels were on fire. They only stopped once, briefly, when their stamina was fully burned out. The escape tested their will to survive and forced them to give every ounce of energy they could into their speed. Only Chia Jingyu, carried by Su Yu, made it to the other side safe and sound. The rest of the group emerged looking like beggars, their clothing in tatters and dark circles under their eyes. Even Long Xiaoyu's leather clothing was torn in many areas, revealing her dazzling snow-white skin. The only good thing was that, although tiring, the three days of continuous escape proved to be worth it. Panting, Yan Chu and King Mingyu stopped to catch their breaths. Sing you long, we are a long ways away from the inner core area and will soon reach the outer periphery. It's really unlikely the Slayer King has followed us this far. Long Xiaoyu thought for a moment before lightly nodding her head. She looked at Su Yu and Chia Jingyu, what do you two think, should we rest here for a short while to recover a bit? Three days of continuous escape had taken a lot out of her. Su Yu shook his head lightly. He had no intention of slowing down. The day you let your guard down is the day you die. As long as I'm in the evil forest, I will not stop. Swish. Su Yu disappeared from their line of sight, his voice echoing in their minds. Long Xiaoyu could not help but agree with Su Yu. As long as they remained in the evil forest, they were in no position to relax. Yan Chu coldly scoffed, Su Yu Long, why bother with people like him? To put it nicely, he is being cautious. To be blunt, he is merely as timid as a mouse. Qin Mingyu also did not like Su Yu, as he had taken many elixirs. 
We are too far away from the Slayer King. Even with his level 9 lower tier ability, it will be difficult for him to catch up to us. Obviously, Suyu lacks the ability to correctly assess situations. Leave him be. Let us proceed with our rest, Qin Mingyu agreed. Seeing their calm and relaxed posture, Long Xiaoyu could tell they were adamant about resting, and she could do nothing about it. Although she clearly understood Su Yu was the wisest person, she could not bear to leave the two of them behind. As such, she was left with no choice but to rest. The three of them rested peacefully on top of a huge, ancient tree. All of a sudden, Long Xiaoyu noticed a collection of shifting shadows among the trees. Reflexively, she raised her head and looked toward them. What she saw sent terror down her spine. Atop the tree branches stood a middle-aged man. Wearing a grey-coloured robe, the man had handsome facial features and a pair of bright eyes, he was surrounded by a kingly aura. With his hands clasped behind his back, the man stood in a relaxed manner. As if a cat preying on a mouse, he watched the three of them from above. The man was so silent, it was as if he was one with nature. If Long Xiaoyu had not reflexively glanced up, they may have never noticed him. Instantly, as though Long Xiaoyu's throat was blocked by something, she squeezed out a few words with great difficulty, it's the Slayer King. Level 9 Upper Tier. It was indeed highly improbable for a level 9 lower tier Slayer King to catch up with them. However, for a level 9 upper tier, he could catch up to them easily. Yan Chu and Qin Mingyu raised their heads and were instantly terrified. Not only had the Slayer King chased after them, but he had been standing above their heads for the whole time. The Slayer King had been keeping up with them the whole time, hidden in the shadows. Yan Chu's whole body stiffened, he was too terrified to move. Swish. Relying solely on his instincts, Qin Mingyu forcefully suppressed his fear and swiftly fled for his life. No, Long Xiaoyu screamed in shock, but it was already too late to stop him. Game over for the escaping mouse. The Slayer King joked. Extending a finger, the Slayer King pointed at Qin Mingyu. A few hundred feet away, Qin Mingyu's body exploded, turning into a rain of blood. Long Xiaoyu shuddered deeply, immensely regretful. Had she known earlier, she should have followed Su Yu and escaped. She might have had a chance of surviving if she had escaped when she'd had the chance. Retracting his finger, the Slayer King's eye looked at him mockingly. Among the five of you, only the kid in purple intrigued me, and, even then, just barely. Follow me. Swish. The Slayer King flew in the direction Su Yu had gone. Long Xiaoyu lightly bit her lips but dared not defy his order. She followed behind the Slayer King. The Slayer King had still paid slight attention to her, if she had tried to escape, he would have killed her in an instant. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron Chapter 82 As Su Yu hugged Chia Jingyu throughout the entire escape, he did not let down his guard a single time, constantly checking their surroundings as they ran. Swish. Su Yu took out nine elixirs, stuffing five of them into Chia Jingyu's hands. What are you doing? Chia Jingyu asked in bewilderment. Su Yu stared at Chia Jingyu. Jingyu, should I fail to make it out of the evil forest, please make a trip to Fengguang Valley on my behalf, he said softly. Chia Jingyu had an ominous premonition, but Su Yu did not give her a chance to speak. Feeling deeply apologetic, Su Yu continued, if I die, the Holy King would definitely not pick on you. He will sense your potential. By then, if you feel strong enough, please go to Fengguang Valley on my behalf and tell Xiana that, till death, I, Su Yu, never once let her down. Chia Jingyu felt a sharp pain in her heart. For as long as she could remember, Xiana had been her closest friend. However, at some point, she had begun to dread hearing Su Yu voice Xiana's name. It was like every mention of Xiana hacked a piece away from the pillar of support Su Yu had become in Chia Jingyu's heart. She felt the same pain as that night in the Duke's palace under the moonlight, when Xiana snatched away Su Yu's hug. Okay. Chia Jingyu grabbed her shirt tightly. Although she felt bitter, she agreed. Su Yu had originally belonged to Xiana. Chia Jingyu sighed softly. 
Su Yu smiled gratefully, in that case, let's part ways. Jing Yu, live on. Not waiting for Chia Jing Yu's response, Su Yu's eyes suddenly shot out a pitch black ray of energy. Demonic eyes could send someone into a coma, should the user choose to do so. Chia Jing Yu struggled, unwilling to close her eyes. Amidst the struggle, her expression was bewildered. The last image reflected in her beautiful eyes was Su Yu's apologetic smile and his quiet farewell. Swoosh. Su Yu flew down and hid the unconscious Chia Jing Yu inside a secluded cave. Then, he ran for his life. Moments later, Su Yu arrived in a valley. As he turned back and looked behind himself, Su Yu smiled sadly. Swish. In his grey clothes, a middle-aged man wore a ridiculing smile on his face. He approached in a laid-back manner as if he was walking on clouds. Following behind him was Long Xiaoyu and Yan Chu, their faces immensely pale. The Slayer King swept his gaze across the valley, but he could not find Chia Jingyu. Upon realizing she was not present, he smiled wider, sizing up Su Yu with slight interest. You are smart. Among everyone, you were the first to discover my presence. Realizing that it would be difficult to escape my pursuit, you decided to hide the girl in advance. The Slayer King said in admiration. This was merely a cat's admiration toward a slow mouse, before the cat chows down. Su Yu's eyes sharpened as he silently took a deep breath, consoling his quivering heart. The Slayer King was level 9 upper tier, he was only a few steps away from being a martial arts legend. But, Su Yu still had confidence in his abilities, it was still too early to tell who would survive this battle. As Su Yu gradually squinted his eyes, he carefully observed the Slayer King's actions. The Slayer King chuckled. Since he arrived at the entrance of the valley he had not advanced a single step. Still standing at the entrance, he smiled mockingly and surveyed his surroundings. Let me guess. The valley is, clearly, a dead end. Yet, you resolutely chose to enter it. My guess is, you must have set up traps of some sort inside, right? For example, beneath my feet, the Slayer King laughed coldly as he looked beneath his feet. Three centimeters in front of his toe was a transparent silk thread, which was difficult to spot with the naked eye. The silk thread was coiled around two ends of a stone wall. Should anyone charge forward at a high speed, both their legs would be sliced off before they knew what hit them. Ching. The Slayer King lightly laughed. With a slight nudge from his toe, the entwined dragon silk snapped. Upon destroying the trap, the Slayer King took a step forward. Su Yu's pupils dilated. The leg which the Slayer King had extended slowly retracted in midair, he did not take a full step forward. He appeared slightly shocked. Interesting. Consecutive traps. You almost got me. Boom. The Slayer King materialized some vital energy between his fingers and proceeded to bombard the ground beneath the entwined dragon silk. Kaboom. A pit, which had been dug long ago, was suddenly revealed. At the bottom was countless sharp spikes. This was a consecutive trap. Should the entwined dragon silk be discovered prematurely, Su Yu had hoped that the Slayer King, overly confident, would then fall into the pit. Su Yu had planned each step of this meeting, but, as he watched the Slayer King disarm both traps, his expression turned dark. The Slayer King was quite crafty. Long Xiao Yu secretly felt sorry. Wearing a cold smile on his face, the Slayer King crossed over the pit without sustaining any injury. The three of you, how do you think I should deal with you all? He asked mockingly. Long Xiaoyu and Yan Chu flew to where Su Yu was, their faces filled with despair. This valley may end up being their burial ground. What surprised them was the fact that the Slayer King had yet to attack them. Perhaps the cat was enjoying playing with his food. I'll give you all a chance to live. If you kill one person, you may leave. With his hands clasped behind his back, the Slayer King's eyes were playful. Swoosh. Almost in an instant, the three of them immediately dashed away from one another, revealing their distrust of each other. Su Yu and Yan Chu were the wariest of Long Xiao Yu. As a level 8 peak, killing them both simultaneously was well within her abilities. However, Long Xiao Yu did not attack them. 
Instead, she said in a stern voice, rest assured, I will not attack you. If you both die, he would lose interest and have me killed me in an instant. Hearing this, Su Yu, although he did not completely let his guard down, secretly heaved a sigh of relief. Long Xiaoyu had always been a woman of her word. She disliked deception. Also, her logic made complete sense. Once the Slayer King lost interest, it would spell death for Long Xiaoyu. To actually believe the Slayer King's words would be no different from moths flocking toward flames, seeking their own deaths. However, in times of extreme peril, people want to believe any and all illusory potential for hope. People like Yan Chu. Boom. As Yan Chu clenched his jaw and his expression greatly changed. He suddenly attacked Su Yu. A wave of vital energy was launched towards Su Yu's heart. Swoosh. Su Yu had been prepared. As he dodged the attack, he furiously looked at Yan Chu. Do you seriously believe that by killing me he will let you go? With his deeply fearful eyes, it became apparent that he had lost the ability to think calmly. It doesn't matter if I believe it or not. This is my only option. Yan Chu shouted. What if? What if the Slayer King kept his promise? Among the three of them, Yan Chu stood no chance against Long Xiaoyu's. However, he believed that he was strong enough to kill Su Yu. As the first strike ended in failure, Yan Chu shouted again and attacked Su Yu. Gigantic cloud hand of the western sky. Yan Chu's palm molded vital energy. The air shifted and a great power in the form of a giant hand surged forward. Boom. The wind thrashed violently. His eyes were filled with deep pity. Su Yu, just resign yourself to fate. You are not my opponent. To prevent being subjected to pain, I can grant you a quick death. Yan Chu said regretfully. Yan Chu was expressing pity to the man he was trying to kill. Su Yu let out a furious laugh towards his crocodile tears. Do you really think you can defeat me? Su Yu's eyes gradually turned cold. His prior battle with Yan Chu had been stopped by Long Xiaoyu in the nick of the time. He did not think a battle between them would be ultimately inevitable. Yan Chu's gigantic palms were nearby. His face was indifferent and overconfident, revealing the extent of his contempt for Su Yu. Shaking her head lightly, Yan Chu fixated his eyes on Su Yu and let out a sigh, even before death, you still have not repented. Looks like even after experiencing so much, you are still stuck in the illusion of being the empire's most talented martial artist. Without your puppets, you are extremely fragile. What I regret the most is not showing you how cruel reality is during our battle a few days ago. Now, your end will be too fast to properly show you. This is all my fault. Yan Chu sighed pitifully, but he secretly gloated. Boom. Su Yu counterattacked calmly with his palm. Both of their palms came into contact silently. Yan Chu's look of fake sympathy faltered and turned stern, before contorting into one of pain and fright. Finally, he shrieked in pain. Crack. There was the sound of cracking ice as his entire body froze. Within the ice sculpture, there was not a sliver of life. What was left on Yan Chu was a freezing cold corpse. Su Yu stood at his original spot, slowly retracting his fist, which was surrounded by cold mist. Su Yu shook his head. The fragile one is you, senior. This is the true cruel reality. Long Xiaoyu pupils dilated. One move was all it took to kill Yan Chu. Regarding Su Yu's ability, she had her suspicions it went far beyond his cultivation base. However, it had never crossed her mind that he could kill Yan Chu in one move. To Yan Chu, this was indeed a cruel reality. His playful face slightly stiffened, the Slayer King took in a small breath, a deity-level cultivation technique. His playful expression then deepened, interesting. A genius capable of comprehending a deity-level cultivation technique. From the looks of it, it's even in the upper tier. Interesting. Then, let the two of you battle. Whoever wins, lives, the Slayer King said. He could not wait to see a good show. Su Yu and Long Xiaoyu, however, did not start to battle. According to what the Slayer King had said, if they killed one person, they would live. However, despite Su Yu being forced to kill Yan Chu, they had not been granted leave. 
there was no doubt that the Slayer King was not a man of his words. Even if Su Yu and Long Xiao Yu fought each other to the death, the Slayer King would also not let anyone leave. Hence, Su Yu and Long Xiao Yu did not fight. Rather than being played with by the Slayer King, they would rather sacrifice themselves. Seeing that they refused to fight, the Slayer King's expression gradually stiffened. His eyes, previously playful, were now cold and murderous. Uninteresting rats, die. Boom. A wave of cold, murderous energy gushed towards the sky. All living things in all four directions ran away in fright. Taking a step forward, the Slayer King, who had lost his patience, finally decided to kill them. Su Yu remained calm as ever. He was even sarcastic. You really think you are a cat toying with rats? Su Yu laughed coldly as he stepped lightly on the ground. Only with close observation could one discover that Su Yu had not moved his feet, one foot secretly rested on an invisible silk thread. As the Slayer King extended his foot, Su Yu exerted pressure on the entwined dragon silk beneath his foot. Kaboom! A loud explosion could be heard. A black liquid with a foul stench erupted from beneath the Slayer King's feet as a foul-smelling rain drenched him head to toe. Ah! The Slayer King let out a miserable, pained scream. The foul-smelling black rain contained immensely lethal toxins. The toxins caused the Slayer King's entire body to rot. His originally handsome face was now disfigured. Parts of it were so rotten that his bones poked through. As his legs were in direct contact with the source of the immensely toxic rain, the flesh on his legs instantly melted into liquid, and his legs were reduced to mere bones in an instant. The grey robe he was wearing instantly decayed, alongside with a big portion of his body, his blood and flesh were indistinguishable. Long Xiao Yu gasped in astonishment. What was that immensely lethal and terrifying poison? When had Su Yu set up so much lethal poison? Su Yu's trap had not been a double consecutive trap, it was a triple consecutive trap. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 83. Quick. Run. Su Yu shouted at Long Xiao Yu as he desperately ran toward the foot of the cliff. Two ropes made of vines had already been prepared. By climbing the ropes, one could reach the top of the valley and escape. One of the ropes had been originally prepared for Chia Jingyu, but now it could be used to save Long Xiao Yu's life. Long Xiao Yu was immensely happy as she grabbed onto a rope. Utilizing her light body cultivation technique, she quickly climbed up the stone walls. The shock she contained within her heart could not be described. Not only had Su Yu set up a triple consecutive trap, he had even prepared a means of escape. Su Yu's meticulous thinking and ability to remain calm was incredible. Su Yu quickly climbed up the vine, he was not calm. That immensely toxic rain was the blood of nine deadly poison devil. Su Yu had buried the nine deadly poison devil's corpse underground, wrapped tightly in the entwined dragon silk. Once the mechanism was triggered, the entwined dragon silk would violently tighten. The corpse, unable to withstand the pressure, would then explode, spraying out its poisonous blood. As the ground preserved the body, Su Yu did not have to worry about the trap losing effectiveness. But Su Yu was not confident that the blood would kill the Slayer King. After all, these three traps were originally designed to deal with level 8 upper tier or peak tier opponents. Su Yu hadn't prepared for a level 9 enemy. Su Yu, I'll kill you. The Slayer King's angry voice reverberated throughout the valley. As expected, he had not died. Swish. A badly disfigured body scaled the cliff walls behind Su Yu, smelling of death and rot. His hands had completely decayed, leaving only bloody, bony fingers. The bony fingers were like steel, cutting into the stone like it was butter. Stabbing into the stone walls, the Slayer King climbed naturally and quickly. His pair of decaying eyes gave Su Yu a death stare, full of boundless fury. Su Yu felt lighter as he pushed floating light shadow to its maximum power. Although the Slayer King would soon die from the lethal toxins, his abilities were still strong. Su Yu still could not compare to the Slayer King's speed. Snap. Boom. The Slayer King caught up to Su Yu and grabbed Su Yu's ankle with his immensely toxic, bony claws. I might die, but I won't let you off. 
and that female companion of yours, I will also find her, and kill her. The Slayer King shouted with an immense hostility as he spewed blood from his mouth. How could Su Yu possibly dodge a grab from a level 9 upper tier? Ah. The poisonous blood upon came into contact with Su Yu's ankle and instantly caused his skin to decay, releasing a pungent white smoke. The bony claws gave one immensely strong tug, and the vine in Su Yu's hands instantly snapped. Su Yu dropped down from the 300 feet tall cliff like a stone. Gazing at the increasingly distant sky, the sky was vast and the clouds were peaceful. Time and space seemed to slow. Su Yu felt bitter. Had death finally caught up with him? Thinking back, he had started off as a lowly silver student and had ended as a sanctuary heavenly disciple. It had only been a mere few months, but it was enough. He had his father-in-law, Duke Xiang Yu, whom he was indebted to, and a loyal friend, the third prince. He even had two women in his life who he would never forget, his fiancé, Qin Xianna, and his soulmate, Chia Jingyu. This life had been more than fulfilling, but Su Yu still had many regrets. He would not see Xianna with his own two eyes, and could only task Jingyu to meet her on his behalf. As Su Yu fell off the cliff, Long Xiaoyu looked on in shock. The Slayer King laughed, I will find your female companion and kill her now, to accompany you. Jingyu. Should the Slayer King retrace Su Yu's footsteps, finding the unconscious Jingyu would be an easy task. Don't you dare. Su Yu's eyes sparked with fury. Russell. A streak of madness enveloped his mind. If he had to die, he was taking the Slayer King with him. Gathering vital energy in his hands, Su Yu suddenly shot toward the top of the valley. On top of the valley ten boulders tethered on the cliff edge. Their position was especially precarious, they could have fallen at any moment. However, they were all stopped in their tracks by a transparent, entwined dragon silk. Once the entwined dragon silk snapped, the entire valley would be completely destroyed. Each boulder had an average diameter of 30 feet. Once they dropped, it would cause massive destruction. This was what Su Yu had spent two days two nights working on. The boulders, which had been incredibly hard to set up, were meant as a latch-ditch backup plan, should Su Yu need to destroy the valley. That was also Su Yu's only chance to kill the Slayer King. He shot a stream straight at the entwined dragon silk. Russell. As the entwined dragon silk loosened, ten gigantic boulders finally crashed downward. Long Xiao Yu gasped in astonishment. Luckily, she had already reached the boundaries of the cliff. By precariously avoiding the gigantic boulders, she managed to reach the peak of the cliff. On the other hand, as the Slayer King was busy dealing with Su Yu, he was not able to escape in time. As the gigantic boulders fell toward him, he screamed in agony. Ah! I won't let you go, even if I become a ghost. Ah! Even though he was the Slayer King, he unable to withstand the tremendous impact. The Slayer King was crushed by a gigantic boulder instantly, and his body flew off the cliff. Boom. Ten gigantic boulders crashed down in a monstrous thunder. The entire small valley shook vigorously, as the high mountain crumbled with a bang. Gravel rolled down the cliff face. With a quick glance, the surrounding mountain peaks were all destroyed as well. The entire valley was filled with gravel. Dust filled the air, Long Xiaoyu was not able to open her eyes until several moments later. As she squinted, Long Xiaoyu gasped in astonishment. Her heart quaked with the horror of observing a massive tragedy. The valley was filled with gravel. The possibility of survival was near zero percent. As her knees weakened, Long Xiaoyu knelt on the valley floor and moaned, Su Yu. With a low bow of respect, Long Xiaoyu's chest was filled with several feelings. There was apologetic sentiments, gratitude, and respect. Suddenly, Long Xiaoyu focused her eyes on the distance and saw a stumbling figure running towards the entrance of the valley. Looking up at the deep gravel pit, the beautiful eyes of the approaching woman surveyed their surroundings anxiously, as if looking for something. Swoosh! The guilt-ridden Long Xiaoyu flew forward and stopped beside the woman. He is already dead. In order to stop the Slayer King from finding you, Su Yu decided to sacrifice himself and bring the Slayer King down with him. 
They were buried and killed amidst the collapsing mountains, Long Xiaoyu said in a low voice, desperate and lonely without any semblance of joy from surviving. Su Yu's death caused her to feel a deep sense of guilt that was difficult to quell. Boom. The eyes of the woman blacked out. Having lost all strength in her body, she knelt on the ground with a pair of lifeless eyes. It was the newly awakened Chia Jingyu. She had immediately realized what Su Yu had done, and had rushed immediately to the valley after regaining consciousness. What she saw once she arrived was the aftermath of a catastrophe. Worst of all was what she was told once she arrived. Su Yu had died, buried underneath the collapsed mountains. As Chia Jing Yu stared in a daze at the deep pit, her mind was blank. Countless memories surged forward, one after the other in a sunset tide. Their initial meeting at the Martial Arts Training Institute, when he was just the young man with extraordinary archery skills. When they explored the Dusk Mountains and faced the mysterious shadow in the underground ruins. Their time at the Duke's Palace, the warm hug under the moonlight. That time at the outskirts of the imperial capital, an embarrassing and unforgettable experience, when they faced each other with bare bodies. Finally, when they entered the sanctuary together, they had shared the same fate between various ordeals and obstacles. Scene by scene, memories surged forth in her mind, tearing apart her soul. Excruciating pain assaulted her heart. She had lost the most important thing in her life. She had lost the light in her life which she dared not forget, nor hope for. No. At last, Chia Jingyu slowly returned to her senses, her eyes filled with tears. Brother Su you would not die. He would not die. Chia Jingyu got back on her feet and ran into the middle of the valley. Using her slim, jade-like hands, she moved the rocks piece by piece. The rough, sharp rocks wore her skin out, cutting her fingers and destroying her clothes. However, in her eyes, only Su Yu mattered. Mechanically, piece by piece, she moved the gravel away. It was as if she was a soulless puppet that had used up its life force, salvaging the final glimmer of life in order to find Su Yu. Long Xiao Yu could not bear to watch any more. Junyu Chia, please, take it easy. She said, bitterness in her heart. He did not die. Chia Jingyu turned her head. Chia Jingyu was known for staying calm in any circumstance. But now, it was as if she was a completely different person. Her eyes were cold and sharp as she sharp shrieked at Long Xiaoyu. Startled, Long Xiaoyu silently fixated her gaze at Chia Jingyu, who was laboriously moving the stone pieces. One day turned into two days, which turned into three days. Five days had passed and Chia Jingyu was frail beyond recognition. Her looks, which were once comparable to a celestial beauty, were now haggard and frail. Her eyes were so dry they turned dark red. Her pair of jade-like hands had lost their former radiance and were now indistinguishable. Most unrecognizable was her heart, which sat in shambles. Throughout all five days Chia Jingyu did not rest, nor did she drink a single drop of water or eat a single grain of rice. Perhaps, before Chia Jingyu would collapse on the rubble herself before they even had a chance to find Su Yu's body. Finally, Chia Jingyu's stamina had been expended. She fainted on the ground. Even though she was unconscious, a pair of hands covered in blisters and scabs continued to cling to the stones, refusing to let go, even in sleep. Long Xiaoyu sighed sympathetically. She bowed deeply to the buried body of Su Yu before picking up Chia Jingyu and leaving the evil forest. Surrounded by celestial clouds and misty haze, a pavilion within the massive Fenguang Empire was faintly visible, as if it was a paradise in the human world. It was the Fenguang Empire's forbidden land, Fenguang Valley. Its significance was akin to the sanctuary of the Alliance of the Nine Empires. Within Fenguang Valley, Shiana sat in a courtyard. Drenched in an entire body of perspiration, Shiana was fully focused and serious in honing her cultivation techniques. The Shiana of the past was willful and playful, unruly and mischievous. The current Shiana now wore an expression of unfaltering persistence on her delicate face. Russell. Two 18-years-old females silently approached the courtyard, their eyes revealed despise and disgust. The bloodline of the Nine Phoenixes is nothing more than this. Is she really the Valley Master's granddaughter? 
Her potential is so bad, it's beyond comprehension. Indeed, she is unlike the true bloodline of the Nine Phoenixes. According to the rumors, the bloodline of the Nine Phoenixes has an incredibly fast training speed. However, our Fengguang Valley has given all the Saint Grade Spirit elixirs we have accumulated to Qin Shiana for consumption. Yet, she has merely obtained one breakthrough to level 3 upper tier. Her potential is so bad, it's unbelievable. As the granddaughter of Fengguang Valley's master, Xi'ana's unique bloodline had allowed her to receive priority training. The Saint Grade Spirit Elixirs, which were supposed to be distributed to only outstanding disciples, were all given to Xi'ana for her sole, prioritized consumption. The only thing was, amidst the boost from all the Saint Grade Spirit Elixirs, she had merely managed to break through from level 3 lower tier, to level 3 upper tier. Fengguang Valley, be they from outstanding disciples or elders, was full of complaints. What trash. If I had consumed that many Saint Grade Spirit Elixirs, I would have long ago achieved level 8. I really don't understand, she should have just stayed behind in Fengguang Empire. Coming to our Fengguang Valley and wasting all our precious Saint Grade Spirit Elixirs, those kinds of people may as well die. The two people's voices, although far away, managed to be heard by Xi'ana. Xi'ana stopped training and lowered her head as she stood in front of the wooden stakes. Lightly biting her lips, her frail shoulders lightly rustled. Her pair of big eyes swelled with tears, and her weak body and mind were assaulted by deep loneliness and hesitation. Keen Xi'ana, follow me. The clan is holding a meeting and you have to sit in, an indifferent voice said. It was a stern beauty, but her gaze towards Qin Shiana was filled with abomination. Shiana knew that this would be the meeting that decided her fate. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 84. Oh, Qin Shiana hurriedly wiped away her tears as she lowered her head. Not uttering a single word, she followed behind the stern beauty as they walked toward Fengguang Pavilion, the most prestigious and dignified meeting hall. Various outstanding disciples and powerful elders were all standing in the meeting hall. They were all level 8 and level 9, all experts, busy cultivating an oppressive atmosphere. Aside from them, there was an old lady, sitting calmly on the main seat in the hall. At first glance, she appeared to be a normal elderly woman. However, her presence made the assembled level 8 and level 9 experts silent in fear. She was the master of Fengguang Valley, Qin Shiana's grandmother. When Qin Shiana arrived, the outstanding disciples and elders all turned to look at her. They appeared respectful on the surface, but deep within, they felt envy and loathing. The master of Fengguang Valley opened her eyes and stared at Qin Shiana. After assessing Qin Shiana, she had confirmed Shiana's cultivation level was still level 3 upper tier. Within her doting eyes, a faint coldness was building. Xiana, do you remember Grandma's promise? The master of Fengguang Valley asked indifferently. Her voice appeared fleeting and far. Even though she sat front and center, it was difficult to determine the origins of her voice. Xiana's heart trembled as she lightly bit her lips. With her eyes filled with tears, under the eyes of the masses, she choked, I remember. Should I not achieve a breakthrough to level 5, then I'll be exiled from Fengguang Valley. Fengguang Valley's master pondered for a long while. Though her aged eyes were filled with love and displeasure, they ultimately turned cold. Since you know, then leave Fengguang Valley. Xi'ana's tears flowed uncontrollably. As she turned around, amid the silent laughter of the masses, she left the hall alone. Wait. Remove your Fengguang Valley clothes as well, the master of Fengguang Valley ordered indifferently, this is the rule. Anyone who leaves Fengguang Valley will cease to be a member, and is not allowed to leave with any items belonging to the valley. Xiana looked back. As she stared at her grandmother, she felt no warmth in her heart. In her grandmother's eyes, she was only a replacement for her mother. Now that Shiana was not of any value, her grandmother had cut off all family ties with her. A wave of solitude overwhelmed her. The thought of her broken familial ties made her feel exceptionally vulnerable. Whenever her mind conjured the image of a purple-robed figure, the loneliness within Shiana's heart was slightly quelled. With her small hands, she took off her coat. 
only that belonged to Fenguang Valley, which she did not care about. However, just as her coat loosened, she carelessly dropped multiple items, which had been hidden in the pockets. Splitter splatter. Various fiery red spheres were strewn across the floor, rolling about. Everyone was stunned. As they looked, their facial expression instantly changed and they exclaimed in unison, Saint Great Spirit Elixirs. There were 13. This was equivalent to Fenguang Valley's two months worth of spirit elixirs in total. There was even a golden spirit elixir among them. Divine Great Spirit Elixir. The elders were able to hold in their horror, but the youngsters had no self-control. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. A group of youngsters forgot the master of Fenguang Valley as they rushed forward, frantically snatching the spirit elixirs on the floor. Chiana was shocked. She rushed forward to cover the golden spirit elixir with her body. Her pair of small hands grabbed the surrounding spirit elixirs. However, how could she compete against the crowd of over 10 people? Don't. Stop. Amid the chaos, she managed to grab back two elixirs, including the golden spirit elixir. The remaining were all snatched away by the crowd. Her small hands were swollen from being stepped on. Her expression was frazzled as blood from fresh wounds stained her skin. Seeing the spirit elixirs stolen by other students, Shiana was immensely saddened. Hugging her only two spirit elixirs, she helplessly sat on the floor and cried pitifully. Oh, return me. Return my spirit elixirs. Those are for brother Su Yu. Don't snatch them away. Hearing her pitiful cries would make anyone worried about her. In the silent meeting hall, only Shiana cried. Looking at her trembling body, several youngsters could not bear it anymore as they awkwardly put the spirit elixirs back into her arms. The remaining youngsters were extremely ashamed as they returned the spirit elixirs. With her teary eyes, Shiana hid the spirit elixirs back into her pockets, one by one. A total of 13 Saint Grade spirit elixirs. Were these the spirit elixirs given to Shiana in the last two months? Had Shiana not consumed any? Shiana, the master of Fenguang Valley trembled and threw a sharp look at her. What is this? Why did you not eat any of the spirit elixirs given to you? Finally, people understood why Shiana, part of the rumored bloodline of the Nine Phoenixes, had such awful potential. Keen Shiana had not consumed any of the spirit elixirs given to her. She had relied solely on normal training to raise her cultivation base, which was why her progress was so slow. Keen Shiana dared not look the master of Fenguang Valley in the eye. Lowering her head, she softly whispered, Grandma, I'm sorry. I wanted to save the spirit elixirs for brother Su Yu. He is in the mortal world and definitely does not have any spirit elixirs to consume. I want to save all of them for him. Everyone looked at one another, deeply shocked. Some great spirit elixirs only existed in Fenguang Valley and in the sanctuary, their value was difficult to estimate. Keen Shiana wanted to save them for Brother Su Yu. Who is Su Yu? Master of Fenguang Valley shot a sharp look at Shiana. Keen Shiana dared not hide the truth. Brother Su Yu is Brother Su Yu. Oh, he is my fiancé and my only remaining family. Of course, Grandma is also my family, she confessed. Fiancé, Keen Shiana had a fiancé in the mortal world. She had endured countless harsh words and was willing to be exiled from Fenguang Valley, just to give Su Yu the spirit elixirs. Everyone was speechless, they all felt as though something was caught in their throats. Those citizens, once envious of Shiana, were unexpectedly moved by her. The eyes of the master of Fenguang Valley immediately changed. Against the desires of those in Engguang Valley, she had taken a few months' worth of spirit elixirs and given them to her granddaughter. On top of that, when she saw that Shiana had not improved, she had secretly given her an extremely rare divine grade spirit elixir. However, Shiana had instead saved him for some random man. Shiana's grandmother secretly blamed herself for Shiana's pains, but she simultaneously loathed this Su Yu. But, she did not reveal her anger, as her expression gradually softened. Taking out a Saint Grade Spirit Elixir from her sleeve, she smiled earnestly. This is for you to consume. As for Su Yu's Spirit Elixirs, Grandma will prepare another set for him. 
Chiana hesitated before she finally swallowed a Saint Grade Spirit Elixir. Wow. What occurred next shocked everyone. Under the strong power of the Spirit Elixir, a faint fiery red mist began to surround Chiana. Chiana appeared to look like a phoenix. Her cultivation base began to rise rapidly at an astounding speed. In an instant, she had risen all the way from level 3 upper tier to level 5 upper tier. As expected from one of the bloodline of nine phoenixes. Upon consumption of the Saint Grade Spirit Elixir, normal people would only rise from level 3 upper tier to level 4 upper tier at the most. Chiana, however, the meeting hall was filled with gasps of astonishment, countless eyes filled with shock and envy. This was the real power of the bloodline of the nine phoenixes. The master of Fenguang Valley was filled with overwhelming agitation and happiness. It was as she had expected. This scene was enough to make Fenguang Valley dedicate all its resources towards nurturing Xi'anna. Nobody would ever dare to question her bloodline, much less belittle or ridicule her. When the meeting ended, the masses left in alarm. Fei Yun, make a trip to Fenglin Empire and find Su Yu, the master of the Fenguang Valley said indifferently. Swoosh. A 20-year-old youth with a terrifying aura flew in and knelt down on the floor. Yes, holy king. Fei Yun hesitated for a moment, before he asked, After I have found him, do I pass Junior Xi'ana's spirit elixirs onto him? After all, she had promised Xi'ana she would prepare another set of spirit elixirs for Su Yu. No, kill him. The calm master of the Fenguang Valley was murderous. Fei Yun looked slightly shocked before his eyes turned cold. He was not angry. This wild Su Yu of unknown origins had taken possession of Qin Xi'ana's heart and forced her to slow her training, forced her to hoard spirit elixirs for him. Furthermore, he called himself Qin Xi'ana's fiancé. Prior to this, although Qin Xi'ana's potential had been misunderstood, her small and beautiful figure, like a fairy from the wilderness, had won over many hearts, Fei Yun's included. Upon hearing that Qin Xi'ana had a fiancé, he could not help but feel dejected. In his eyes, there was a wave of envy and loathing. Also, make a trip to the sanctuary in the Alliance of the Nine Empires. Tell Li Guang that I will not wait if he's late. The master of Fenguang Valley said indifferently. Roger. Swoosh. Fei Yun disappeared into the shadows like a ghost. Back in the sanctuary, deep within the evil forest, a valley sat in ruins, destroyed two weeks previously. A purple-robed young man was buried amid the gravel. The sky was dark as if it too grieved the loss of Su Yu. The clouds began to snow, as they never had before in the sanctuary. It persisted for ten days. Even the world's purest white snow was unable to cover the coldest scene in the valley. Dong. Dong. Beneath the deep layers of white snow, a boulder shifted. A hand suddenly emerged from the gravel. Chiana. A faint sigh permeated the gigantic boulder and reached the horizons. Far away in the sanctuary, Chia Jingyu finally awoke after ten days of sleep. Her fatigue was so excessive that she had almost died. She had fallen into a coma. The instant she opened her eyes, Chia Jingyu cried hoarsely, Brother Yu. Long Xiao Yu, who watched over her by her side, sighed. Jing Yu, don't be like this. It has already been 15 days since he. She said brokenly. 15 days. Chia Jing Yu sighed sorrowfully, staring dumbly at the ceiling. 15 days. Even if he had not been crushed to death, he would have long ago died of hunger and thirst. Chia Jing Yu's determined heart shattered. Brother Yu, her eyes, which had never cried before, swelled with tears. Her sorrowful voice reverberated into the far distance, carrying the sounds of a deep-seated pain. Dong. The sound of a distant bell could be heard coming from the Holy King's Great Hall. Swish. A person entered the house. Wearing a white shirt, he had a pair of eye-catching sharp brows. His eyes were filled with a deep sense of loss. I should not have brought Su Yu to the sanctuary. If I had not done so, Su Yu would not have died, he said, ashamed. For someone like Su Yu, who highly valued his friends, to have died without any of them at his side, Qiu Changjin felt a deep sense of loss. Thinking back, 
During the Holy Meet Su Yu had gone to great lengths to save the Duke of Xi'an Yu, even though he had not been sure he would survive. Such a loyal person, unmatched by any in his generation, had died in the evil forest. Qiu Changjian looked at Long Xiaoyu, took another look at Chia Jingyu, and sighed. The holy bell has been sounded. The storm competition will soon begin. I have already received news from my seniors that, after this competition, the sanctuary will be dismissed. Moreover, the Holy King will bring us ten great holy disciples and leave for Fengguang Valley, Qiu Changjian said sternly. The dissolution of the sanctuary, to them, was difficult to expect. Swish. Qiu Changjian and Long Xiaoyu's facial expressions suddenly changed. The listless and grieving Chia Jingyu had, upon hearing the words, Fengguang Valley, suddenly sat up. Her pair of colorful eyes suddenly contained an astonishing light as they glared intently at Qiu Changjian. While her voice had once been melodious, she now spoke with a harsh, hoarse voice, Fengguang Valley. The ten great holy disciples will make their way towards Fengguang Valley. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 85. Qiu Changjian was intimidated by Chia Jingyu's intense look. Slightly startled, he gave an affirmative nod, yes, only the ten great holy disciples will be brought along. Only the ten great holy disciples would be brought along. Chia Jingyu filled with hope. I will participate in the storm competition. Chia Jingyu's clear eyes were determined. Qiu Changjian slightly quivered. He could almost feel Chia Jingyu's hidden strength awaken and fill the room. Long Xiaoyu could not bear to watch. Jingyu, you have just recovered from a fatal injury, therefore not advisable for you to participate, she whispered. Chia Jingyu stepped outside of the house, raising her head as she gazed up at the snow-filled sky. Under the heavy snow, her pair of beautiful eyes watered, I have to go. That was Su Yu's last wish. To make the trip to Fengguang Valley, and on his behalf, and tell Shi Yuna that he fought for her to the very end. Looking at her lonely figure, gradually covered by snow, Long Xiaoyu was at a loss. Chia Jingyu had lost her soul. The storm competition had finally arrived. The sanctuary would soon be dissolved, so this would be the last storm competition. The storm competition would be divided into two segments. The competition between the prospective holy disciples, and the individual rankings of the ten great holy disciples. The venue would be in front of the Holy King's Great Hall. Chia Jingyu had braved the snow to reach the venue. Her eyes reflected the snowflakes which filled the skies. The snow-white beauty was incredibly alluring. But she appeared unreachable, like an ice sculpture, frozen in body and soul. Su Yu's tail was spread among the prospective holy disciples. Burying himself along with the Slayer King was both commendable and unfortunate. Chia Jingyu had gone against the Slayer King together with Su Yu. She was alone now, however, the only survivor. She had to take care of herself, now. Dong. The holy bell sounded once again. The battle of the prospective holy disciples was about to begin. The gates of the Holy King's Great Hall had not yet been opened, but nobody doubted whether the Holy King was watching everything. The competition of the prospective Holy Disciples utilized the arena system, there would be consecutive challenges. The one who defeated all would become King of Prospective Holy Disciples. Qiu Changjian would host of the matches. He casually grabbed a name off the list and his expression became perplexed, Chia Jingyu, come up the stage. Swoosh. She flew onto the stage agilely. The celestial beauty's unmatched elegance contrasted against the snowy background. Her ice-cold beauty and snow-like eyes made her appear inhuman. The challenger will be chosen according to last year's ranking, from bottom to top. After every victory, you may rest for an hour. Qiu Changjian announced the rules. The first battle. The first contestant was the hundredth and one ranked disciple, a level 5 upper tier. I admit defeat. The next battle. I admit defeat. Chia Jingyu's level 7 upper tier gave her an overwhelming lead, which caused the low ranked people to all give up. Only the top 10 prospective holy disciples would challenge Chia Jingyu. Junior Jingyu, I cannot match you. I give up. The lowest ranked senior sister Lu cupped her fists and retreated. Zhang Mingyi, ranked 9th, 
had fallen in the evil forest. Swoosh. Lu Dong, ranked 8, was level 7 lower tier. I'll battle you. Lu Dong licked his lips as he gazed at Xia Jingyu's unmatched beauty, his eyes revealed a flash of passion. Even though he might not be her rival, he wouldn't mind battling this beauty. Chia Jingyu stood still on the arena floor, not moving a single inch. Her shoulders were covered in snow, which turned her hair white. Finally, she moved. Her jade-like feet remained footed on her original spot, but her jade-like fingers waved slightly, a stream of vital energy lashing out. Ah! Lu Dong screamed in pain as he fell off the arena, defeated. Like a seasoned veteran, Chia Jingyu's eyes remained calm as she slowly lowered her finger. Swoosh. Ranked 7th. Zhang Xiaohua. Get in the arena. Chia Jingyu raised her finger. Ah. Ranked 6th. Yang Ling. Get in the arena. Chia Jingyu raised her finger. Ah. Du Lin. Ranked 5th. Had fallen in the evil forest. Ranked 4th. Zhang Qian. Zhang Qian was level 7 upper tier, only one step away from becoming a level 8 expert. Flying into the arena, Zhang Qian stood with her hands clasped behind her back. She couldn't contain her envy of Chia Jingyu's beauty. Junior Chia has considerable strength. Senior will give you a handicap of 3 moves, Zhang Qian laughed. With her level 7 peak tier strength, she felt she was more than capable of overwhelming Chia Jingyu's level 7 upper tier. Chia Jingyu shook her head with an indifferent expression, no need, one move is enough to defeat you. Not only did she fail to insult Chia Jingyu, but she had been insulted instead. Zhang Qian was furious. Your strength is not adequate, you only know how to use your looks to seduce people. Rumors say Junior Su Yu was seduced by you, and therefore willingly died for you, she said furiously. Chia Jingyu's body shook slightly, and her cold, elegant eyes lit up. She did not refute her, nor did she explain herself. She did not have an explanation to share. Su Yu had, indeed, died for her. That fact would eternally haunt her. Zhang Qian silently gloated. Junior Su Yu, to actually be manipulated by a woman to the extent that he lost his life. To put it nicely, he must have greatly valued relationships. To be blunt, he was just a simpleton, she chuckled. Qiu Changjian frowned as he tried to contain his unhappiness. The death of a person is sacred. Zhang Qian had gone overboard by bringing up Su Yu. But the competition was sacred, he had no right to intervene. Even if he had the right, it was inconvenient for him to do so. Zhang Qian was the girlfriend of the ranked 8th holy disciple, Lu Qing. In the past, Zhang Qian was dispossessed and her talent was ordinary. However, she was pretty, and it just so happened Lu Qing harbored warped thoughts about her. To climb up the social ladder, she became Lu Qing's girlfriend. With Lu Qing supporting her, nobody dared upset her. Even Long Xiaoyu avoided her. In the arena, a cold light reflected in Chia Jingyu's snow-like eyes. Her rage and murderous intentions were made evident as she spoke lowly, those who dare insult him, die. This was the first time she spoke since entering the arena. If only she had been insulted, Chia Jingyu would not have cared at all. But, to insult Su Yu. This was Chia Jingyu's weakness, the single soft spot in her frozen exterior. A dragon has its reverse scales, their weak spots. They would kill anyone who dared touch them there. Such a violent expression had actually come from the quiet and tranquil celestial beauty, Chia Jingyu. Qiu Changjian and Long Xiaoyu were shocked Chia Jingyu, she had truly changed. The cold aura which surrounded her was unlike her once peaceful, gentle attitude. So what if I insult him? Kill me if you can, you vixen. Zhang Qian laughed coldly. Swoosh. Let Sumu see, other than your looks, what you have to be proud of. Seal of ridges and peaks. Zhang Qian's palms were like butterflies. As they flew overhead, two illusions which resembled mountain peaks appeared out of nowhere. Everyone could feel the oppressive pressure exerted by the mountains. Saint Level Cultivation Technique, Stage 3. As expected from the ranked 4th disciple, she was a terrifying and strong opponent. Chia Jingyu's figure was as still as ice. 
Her eyes did not reflect the terrifying move. Instead, murder blurred her gaze. Those who dare insult him, die. Her cold, hoarse voice reverberated in the air. Swish. Chia Jingyu used her body, turning and enveloping her surroundings with the natural realm. Divine Gate Holy Decree. Qiu Changjian was shocked. A holy decree, had Chia Jingyu actually achieved the level of the Ten Holy Disciples. The Flowery Finger. With her clear and cold eyes, Chia Jingyu raised her finger and pointed. Poof. Ah. Zhang Qian, who was coldly laughing, suddenly felt her chest rupture. A stream of blood spewed from her body. I admit defeat. Zhang Qian felt a chill creep down her spine. Had her finger struck half an inch deeper, her heart would have been crushed to pieces. Swoosh. Zhang Qian quickly retreated and she set off to jump from the arena. But she did not succeed. Though Zhang Qian had admitted defeat, Chia Jingyu continued pursuing and did not stop, despite being in the arena ring, which prohibited serious injuries and killing. Die, die, die. Any semblance of her past kindness was gone. She was a cold goddess, filled with murderous rage. Poof, poof, poof. Her five fingers pointed simultaneously, more than ten holes appeared in Zhang Qian's body instantly. Nearly 70% of her blood spilled onto the arena floor. Even if she did not die, Zhang Qian would lose her strength. However, Chia Jingyu did not show any intentions of stopping. Instead, she attacked with the intention to kill. Even if she did not achieve her goal, she would not stop. HMPH. An indifferent voice could be heard from the Holy King's Great Hall. Chia Jingyu groaned as she spewed blood from her mouth. The Saint Great Holy decree surrounding Chia Jingyu dissipated. Creak. The stone gates of the Holy King's Great Hall slowly opened. An elder, who sat cross-legged, stared at Chia Jingyu dully. The Holy King had appeared. Chia Jingyu's snow-like eyes looked over coldly. Chia Jingyu was not afraid and made eye contact with the Holy King, who even holy disciples dared not look at. You hate me. The Holy King's aged eyes had seen through all things, and what he saw in Chia Jingyu's eyes was hatred. Yes. Chia Jingyu did not conceal the hatred in her heart. For stopping you, the Holy King asked indifferently. As she shook her head, Chia Jingyu's snow-like eyes filled with rage, no. You caused Su Yu to die. If not for the Holy King's pressure, Su Yu would not have taken so many risks in the evil forest, he might still be alive. You want to kill me? The Holy King's old eyes remained as calm as ever. Yes. As long as I am alive, one day, I will take your life. No matter the cost. Chia Jingyu's eyes were resolute and sharp. Although she was small and unintimidating, the tone of voice in which she declared her intentions terrified thousands of warriors. The arena fell into an uproar before it dropped into a dead silence. Since ancient times, only one person ever threatened the Holy King, and, she was named Chia Jingyu. I am partly responsible for his death. The Holy King did not fly into a fury as everyone expected, but instead, he glanced at the reduced number of prospective holy disciples. Deep within his eyes, there was sincere regret. You can hate me, kill me, do whatever you want, should the day come where you have the ability to do so. Slowly shifting his gaze away and closing his eyes, the Holy King announced indifferently, resume the match. Everyone was speechless. Chia Jingyu had violated the rules of the arena match and openly displayed her killing intent. The Holy King had, unexpectedly, decided to not pursue the matter. Perhaps this was the Holy King's apology to Chia Jingyu, perhaps he felt responsible for Su Yu, death. Chia Jingyu looked away and stared at the sky. Swoosh. A figure flew onto the arena stage. It was Long Xiaoyu. Level 8 peak tier was not something that Chia Jingyu could hope to defeat. Jingyu, don't be like this. The dead cannot be revived, you need to take care of yourself. Long Xiaoyu did not bear to see Chia Jingyu like this. Chia Jingyu looked at her, her eyes slightly softening. But, her voice remained cold and hoarse, you don't understand. She had to fulfill Su Yu's final wish. To use her eyes and meet Chiana. To use her heart, to deliver his final words. 
Chia Jingyu was determined to use her life to fulfill his dying wish. Then let us begin. Long Xiaoyu sympathized with her, but would not give up her right to challenge the Ten Holy Disciples. Only the King of Prospective Holy Disciples had the right to challenge the True Holy Disciples. Last year, she had failed. This year was her last chance. In the blink of an eye, Chia Jingyu took out five spirit elixirs. They were the spirit elixirs that Su Yu had given her before he died. Consuming all in one go, Chia Jingyu's cultivation base slowly increased. She prepared to achieve a breakthrough on the spot. Long Xiaoyu was slightly shocked, but nodded her head. I'll wait for you to achieve your breakthrough. No need. Chia Jingyu shook her head. Long Xiaoyu could not do anything. Even if Chia Jingyu achieved a breakthrough to level 7 peak tier, she would still be unmatched. In that case, Junior Chia, please watch out. Long Xiaoyu sighed. Just what I wanted. Swoosh. Long Xiaoyu's surroundings delved into nature. From afar, it appeared as if she was as natural as the skies and earth. Saint Great Holy Decree. Long Xiaoyu has actually comprehended the Saint Great Holy Decree. The masses were shocked at Long Xiaoyu's hidden skill. Compared to last year, Long Xiaoyu has improved significantly. Should she break through the shackles of her cultivation base, she may become one of the Ten Great Holy Disciples, Qiu Changjian secretly exclaimed. End of the chapter. The Divine Nine Dragon will be read in five chapters for every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Please leave this sound novel and press subscribe, follow, and the bell so you don't miss any new clips as well. See you.